What's going on, y'all? The Brandon Bronson here. I just wanted to make a little random video, a video response to the Insomniac, Nino and Chino evolving sideways, lost and has too many nicknames. I feel as if I don't do that many proper videos anymore. A lot of what I do is just Let's Play stuff and uh, uh, music, so I wanted to make a proper video. And I'm doing a video response, so let's do this. So a little while ago, my buddy Austin recorded a video uh, with his friend Amanda, I believe it is. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. And they were just kind of talking about what their expectations were with VidCon. And since VidCon's less than a month and a half away, I figured, hey, why not? So before I even start this video, real quickly, Amanda, my friend Amanda, not Austin's friend Amanda, but Amanda, if you're watching this, thank you so very much for making it to where I am going to VidCon. It was hands down the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, and I love you to death. You're an incredible person. So the primary reason I'm going to VidCon is to meet a large chunk of my online friends. Uh, many of us are very much involved with YouTube and the YouTube community, and a lot of us are content producers, and a lot of them are going to be at VidCon. I'm actually going to be rooming with um, two of my closest friends who I've never met before. I met in part through the YouTube community, and considering how much my online friends have done for me, how much of an impact they've made on me, that's probably the most exciting part of VidCon for me. Actually getting to hug these people and talk to these people and laugh with these people without there being a screen and hundreds if not thousands of miles keeping us apart. Related to that, I'm looking forward to being able to collaborate with a lot of these people. As I said, most of my online friends are also uh, content producers and I've really been looking to get out of my box and do different things and collaborate with more people and stuff like that and I have a couple days to team up with the most creative people I know and produce what should be some absolutely breathtakingly incredible content with these people and of course who knows who I'm going to meet at VidCon a lot of my friends who have gone to VidCon said that they've made friends just by going and talking and networking with people. And that's something I'm really looking forward to because, again, I'm trying to step out of my shell a little bit. I'm trying to meet new people. I'm trying to do new things. And I'm looking forward to the opportunity to meet new people, uh, which segues me into networking. That's something I definitely want to do. At VidCon, I'm planning on, uh, I actually need to get the fuck on this now that I think about it, but I'm planning on making business cards that I want to be handing out to people. I want to expose uh, Chameleon Couch Productions, not just me, but I want to help expose people like Mr. Squibbles and Austin and really help build the Chameleon Couch Productions community. And to some extent, yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting some of the bigger YouTubers, uh, I'd really like to meet the Green Brothers. I highly doubt that'll happen, but I'd like to meet them. Um, I heard that PewDiePie might be at VidCon this year, and, you know, that would be awesome if I got to meet him. Pat does it, who is probably... I definitely put him on my top five favorite YouTubers. He's gonna have a booth at VidCon, which I am just endlessly excited about. This is a guy who I've followed since his third video. Steam Powered Giraffe is going to be playing uh, VidCon this year, which is absolutely incredible. Wow, this video is falling apart quickly. <laughs> but the big thing I'm hoping I take away from VidCon this year is I'm kind of looking at VidCon as almost a pseudo-spiritual journey. I'm hoping that through being able to talk and connect and bounce ideas off of uh, people who are also YouTubers, people who are also very creative people. I'm hoping that through doing that, I can start to discover who I am as a content producer and as an entertainer more often. And I'm really hoping that this is just going to completely rejuvenate uh, my love for YouTubing and remind me why I started doing this and give me new ideas for 
new shows and new videos and new skits and new songs and new content because I've been scraping the bottom of the barrel for a really long time. I've been unmotivated, uninspired, uh, just trying as hard as I can to come up with ideas for videos and all of that stuff and just drawing blanks left and right and I'm really hoping that this is going to be kind of a second wind for me. I'm hoping that this is going to kind of knock my ass back in a positive motion. So that's the first of what's probably going to be a few VidCon related videos to come in the next month and a half. As I always say when I mention Austin, his link is down there in the description. You guys should really check him out. Austin is one of my favorite people in the world. He makes incredible content on not only his channel, uh, but his Let's Play channel, which he shares with his buddy Jeff. Let me know if you guys are going to VidCon. Comment question of the day. Um, I'm pretty sure I've asked before, but I'll ask again. Do any of you plan on going to VidCon? And if so, what are your expectations? If you're not going to VidCon, uh, comment question of the day. What's your favorite kind of pie? I do quite like pumpkin pie. Does cheesecake count as a pie? I mean, it looks like a pie. It has the texture of a pie. But it's called a cake. I never understood that. Anyways, <laughs> got really off track there. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. V. Brandon Brownson, signing out.